Good morning, good morning, good morning! Sunday. I've actually woken up a bit now. I was a bit tired a minute ago, but I've, I've woken up a bit now. So that's good. That's good. All good in the hood, as they say. In the hood. Um, here's, here's the cat. What are you doing, pets? You should be everybody being annoying. Ignorant little bastard he is. What are you doing over there? I'm just sorting out some paperwork. Oh. That sounds fun. It's not. Oh. <laughs> right, we'll have breakfast in a minute. Maybe we'll have a bacon sandwich. What do you want to think about a bacon sandwich, Pean? Mm. 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 Pean likes the prospects of a bacon sandwich, so we may do that. Then I will sort out the general situation that is my face. My face? Yeah. Because it's just a mess. No, got like, uh, I've got a less groomed James Heineman moustache thing going on. It's weird. So, we shall crack on with that. Let's see what happens. The Brit Vlog. Nine cat approved. I thought I'd show you the glorious item in all its splendour. The ten pounds we found. <laughs> Here it is. It's real. Sounds like money. Looks like money. It is money. I've never found any money in my life other than like crappy coins. <laughs> Maybe even would have found a, ten, a five pound. I found a ten pound Pepsi cat. What do you think of that? Once in a puddle. In a puddle? Was it usable? I took it home and dried it out. <laughs> nice! My pound profit. <laughs> Here's the first ever photo of Peen. When I was still it's in been, my been It's been Photoshop there. because um, when this was taken they had to use one of those cameras with a curtain and stand behind it goes <laughs> <coughs> I think it's when- Because you're really old! One of them instant- Polaroids. Yeah, yeah it's Polaroid. Polaroid. That's the word. That was Kodak version but Polaroid over there. see from the NHS. Little baby Peen. Here's this, this is what it turned out to be. I had to go in the baby. because peen. because I was baby. too fat. Peen. Baby. Peen. Peen baby. <laughs> <laughs> There's one of them in you. Yeah, hopefully not as big as me. Oh, yeah, that'd be that would be painful. <laughs> oh, so you appear to have a weird reminiscing time. I know, I always do this and I never end up sorting anything. Hmm. I just like, oh what's this? Hmm. <laughs> We found a card from my grandma, who sadly died 2004? Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, sadly before she got to properly meet Peen, but we just found a random letter I didn't really know I had. <laughs> so we're going to read it. Okay. Dear Aidan, we were very pleased to learn that, that you have achieved two more passes in your GCSE results. We're even more pleased because you have you have work which you obviously enjoy without having to apply it for work fruitlessly. This just gives, this just goes to show that you have become a self-made man in spite of education requirements, just as your father did. Even so, life will be richer if you keep your mind open. We are never too old to keep learning. We hope you enjoyed your family holiday. It was lovely for us to be part of your complete family and we appreciated your physical and psychological support, i.e. your arms around me when I fell. Your mother has done a good job in producing a pleasant young man, even, through the ad even though the adolescent period is difficult for both parents and children. <laughs> I'm sure that both you and Nicholas will be lovely fathers. I could wish that I might be here to see it, but I think that is asking too much. Your loving grandparents, Alan and John. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stop filming me crying. Everyone's used to it by now, anyway. <laughs> that was nice. It was nice to have from Grandma. Yeah. Sadly passed away before she got to meet Peen properly. Yeah. They would have got on well and baked. <laughs> yeah. She didn't do as many cakes as Nan, but she was very, very nice. She was a teacher too. Yeah. But was an actual know. teacher. <laughs> I don't think they know that I'm a uh, teacher trainer. Peen's a fully qualified teacher I and just a don't teach. and a biology degreeist. But I utilise those degrees hiring out 
She had lovely handwriting, Grandma. Not always sure of the weird little picture of the one, but whatever. That's just nice writing, baby. It is. She taught me how to do some calligraphy, actually. Got some calligraphy pens somewhere. Sad. Mm. We're just watching Carl Pilkington. Idiot Abroad, season three, with, with Warwick Davis, and it's just immensely hilarious. It is funny. I mean, Carl on his own is awesome, but add Warwick into the situation, and it's just... <laughs> it's just hilarious. It's hilarious. Well worth a watch. Just for men. There we go. I haven't trimmed it yet and tidied it up completely, but I've just taken a bit of the length off and we put it back to the colour it's supposed to be. Does it look good, Pink? Yep. Looking good. Not ginger anymore. Not ginger, strawberry blonde. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know my own strength. <laughs> I'm super strong. Matter of time. Liam Perrin's cheese. Oh Christ, that smells. It's, it's this cheese with Liam Perrin's in it. You only get four slices, so I think this is possibly the most world's expensive cheese. It smells Liam Perrin's in Some lovely colour. It's a nice colour. What do you think, Bean? Actually. Well, it's quite nice actually. It's, it's, that is high praise indeed from the peen. Not a major fan of Worcester sauce. Uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hold that. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. It's <laughs> just spat it out into the bin. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. I'm not right. a fan of that. Right. So. No, we'll move up trick. Taste away. Mm. Oh, it's got a strange aftertaste. Mm. Oh, it's disgusting. <laughs> I don't mind a tiny bit of Liam Perrin's on, on cheese on toast, but. <clears throat> no, it's got a weird aftertaste, oh. I've decided. That is not nice. They also had it with like tomato ketchup cheese, which also mm. like sounds weird. Um, it sounds really nice, but new. I'll just have another drink. New. That'll just sit in the fridge for a while. I'll gift that to you, Pina. I'll let you have that. Uh, I'm not sure if I want it. <laughs> so, oh, <laughs> just finished playing some games. <clears throat> got another about. I've got about 17 days worth to post now because we just post daily um, snippets of that as well. But play for a few hours and it gives you like I don't know best part of. Well, and the rest we've got about well, we've got you seven. You said we had eight videos. We've so got that's... seventeen days out, outstanding now. Yeah, but you said we did eight today. Yeah. So, this does a good few. And um, you know, what the hell? Why not? What the hell? So, what's going on, P? What are you making? Um. Well, that's a chicken in there at the moment. How do you make a chicken? Um. You put the chicken in the oven. And but how did you get the chicken in the first place? Um. Well, it grows from an egg. Oh. What? But an egg, that's what you make scrambled eggs with. If it's fertilised and, and the mummy chicken sits on it, or it's put in an incubator, <laughs> it hatches into a chick. Oh. And then that grows into a big chicken. This is a male chick, then it's just gaffed to death. And then they kill it, <laughs> and, and then you eat it. Hmm. Well, that's good. That's good. Anyway, the beard's all done. I haven't trimmed the sides yet. We decided whether the sides because a bit wider than oh, the roof stuff. Oh, you need to go and have a look and stuff and yeah, decide what we need to decide think. that in a minute. But we'll go and do that now and report back shortly. Okay, I've been assured I look as beautiful and radiant as I've ever done. Mm-hmm. What do you mean, mm-hmm? Yep. What do you mean, yep? Yep. You're such an asshole. I'm not an asshole. What? God, I'm always like peeing. You're so beautiful and nice. And oh, yeah, about right. this is, mm. Yeah, right. Hmm. You're always like, my darling, you are so beautiful and radiant. You are so beautiful and radiant. 
Ta-da. Just ruin the whole internet now. <laughs> <sighs> oh, I sounded like a thing then. Off to anyway, so, um, oh, well, there's more. There's more. <laughs> we're making. We were going to have a roast dinner. Um, but we're not having a roast dinner. We're just um, um, going to have a curry. But um, been having a milkshake curry, apparently. <laughs> um, but I found a chicken in in the freezer the other day. Just found a chicken, which is why it's out. <laughs> Threw in there and got stuck. <laughs> um, so we're going to have a um, curry, and then we'll have leftover chicken, and we'll do something with it. Hmm. Oh, we also bought a whole salmon at Tesco's. Yeah. Which would be nice because we like a bit of salmon. Yeah. So, I'll have some salmon. Starting on the old diet after this is the last, like, we're going to try and stick to chicken and cutting down again. For two weeks. What? For two weeks. Why? What? Since so Christmas. Oh, yeah, for two weeks, yeah. No, it's <laughs> Christmas, so anything I've lost will be put on at Christmas. <laughs> but that's how dieting works. So, whatever. Anyway, please make you a milkshake. Looks like I'm holding it up, just giving me the look. What's this? It's an iron. No, I've not seen you use that before. What's that? Yes, you have. No, we haven't. Yes, you have. No, no, I've never seen you use that. What? What is it? What does it do? It irons the clothes. I've never had any ironed clothes before. Yes, you have. No, baby, not since I left my mummy. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> box nine. Now, ladies and gentlemen, can you guess what's in box nine? No. Yeah, you can. <laughs> I'm very excited. I can't take the anticipation of what's inside the box, Penny. Oh, do you not want it? I want it, I want it. I want it, I do. <laughs> what is it? Guess what, everyone? <gasps> it's a lolly in a fair rush, eh? <laughs> oh, is it? Yes, a lolly for a roche. A lolly and a Ferrero Did not Roche. see that coming. Uh, I've got to give you this back because these are crap lollies. I'll exchange We've got that. a lolly exchange program so we can exchange <laughs> for a decent one. <laughs> Tomorrow should be exciting. Tomorrow is actual gift day. <laughs> How do you know? We've been through this. <laughs> lolly for a roche, gift, lolly for a roche, gift, lolly for a roche. <laughs> Doesn't always. You might get caught out. <laughs> I might get Lolly Ferrero Rocher. Lolly Ferrero Rocher again! <laughs> Say bean! Right, plug done. Yeah, plug done. <laughs> Saying that word just, just feels weird. It's a stupid word. Why did you make it up then? I didn't. Yeah, you did. Big plug maker up her. Do other people call it plug? I don't know. Don't look at other people. Mm. Anyway, it's back of Bean's head. So, um, I'm going to get all this editor, edited, edited, oh, for God's sake, edited up, there we go, uh, and then I'll, we'll all be off for sleepy time because it's Sunday and, you know, work tomorrow. Boo. 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 But only one more week. But only one more week. Till Stan. <laughs> <laughs> Not at work, there's two more weeks at work. Mm. So yeah, two more weeks at work. we will see everyone tomorrow.